it's a variation of the last technique I showed you. My opponent comes with hooks guard and he tries to sweep me with a hook. If I let him, he will accomplish that. So what I have to do right here, once he comes with his hook guard, I'm going to come under his arm and then go under his leg and dominate his gi pen right by the knee area. Or you could also come on top of his arm. But I'd rather come under his arm and then under his leg. And then I dominate his git slip. And now at this point, and instead of me switching my base for the for the guard pass, I'm gonna jump over my opponent and go to the other side. Then I'm gonna go cross face. But notice how at the same time I'm trapping his arm. Other than that he'll be able to go on his knees. Now let's do the same technique. When my opponent tries to do a hook sweep on me from the butterfly guard, I'm going to go straight right to eliminate that. And then I'm going to come under his arm and then control his gi pen. Then I put my hand on the mat and jump to the other side for the guard pass. So what happens on this variation is that sometimes you don't have the time to do everything. Start controlling your opponent go to his leg. So when he goes right for the hook sweep, I count it right away by switching my base on top of his hook. And then I come under and control his gi pen. Then I put my head on the mat. And then I jump over to the other side. So it is very easy because you're already there. So all you have to do is control his gi pen. And then get on the top of your head and jump over to the other side passing his guard. Another detail on this very same technique. Sometimes you don't have to bring your hand, your arm around under his arm. Since you already hogging him on top and you already blocking his hook, just keep holding his gis lift and jump over for the guard pass. Front side control, I'm going to show you an Ezekiel choke. So what I want to do, I'm going to trap my opponent's arm. And I want to bring my hand at my opponent's neck. So I grab my own sleeve and I use my jaw on his face to push his face away. So I can make enough room for my hand to go in. And then I keep base with my foot posting it up. It'll make more pressure on that Ezekiel choke. Now from side control, I'm going to show you how to do an Ezekiel choke. Once I'm controlling my opponent, the next thing I want to do is to trap his arm so he cannot defend the Ezekiel choke. So by grabbing my sleeve, I'm going to bring my hand right to his neck to start choking, but he will not give me the room. So I use my jaw on top of his face to push his face away. And once I make the room for my hand to go through, I'll sneak my hand in right to his neck, and then I post my leg to have more leverage on. From side control, I want to push my opponent a little bit to his side. 
And then I control his gi pen and I lift my leg right against his body, trapping his arm. And then I bring my arm, trapping his arm. And I can go and grab his belt or his gi. And then my other hand is going to go right to his neck, across his neck. And then I'm going to drop back, keep my knees together, and put pressure on the arm for an arm lock. Front side control, I push my opponent a little to his side. And then I grab his gi pen and I bring my leg right on his back, trapping his arm. And then my other hand will go across his neck, grabbing his gi collar. And then I'll drop back for an arm lock, keeping my knees together. I put pressure on the arm until I get the tap. Okay, now from the guard, my opponent grabs my gi pen and I peeled off the grip of my gi pen by using both hands on his sleeve. And then I put one foot on his hip and one on his bicep. I am controlling both of his sleeves now. So this will be a triangle, but I'm going to turn it into an arm bar. So I get my leg around his neck, trap his neck, and then I do the figure four on his neck.